For the next six years of my life, I had an eating disorder. I struggled with bulimia for so long. Not every celeb is born a star. But the ones we're talking about today had to go through hell to get to where they are today. From severe crippling disorders to dealing with broken families and anxiety, these are the hallmark actors who have had rough childhoods. Hey everyone, welcome back, it's Gabby with Binge Now. We're starting off with an actor who worked extra time at a restaurant in order to just make ends meet. We're talking about Brennan Elliott. We've been watching Brennan Elliott be a romantic lead for years, but in real life, he only has eyes for his wife, Cami Elliott. He is best recognized for his role as Dr. Nick Biancavilla in the Lifetime Network's popular medical drama, Strong Medicine. Why don't you come back tomorrow, I'll show you around that, okay? Promise. The actor who walked down the aisle in 2011 shares two kids with a psychologist. While the couple refrains from sharing too many details about their son and daughter, Elliott has gushed about his spouse in the past. Talking about his wedding in an interview on Home and Family, he said, We made it very clear that we wanted it not to get out of control because we all have colleagues and friends yeah. that are sort of friends, but you know, don't see them as often. So we made it just family and very, very, very close uh, personal friends. And we had a very small, as that picture indicated, a very small, intimate wedding. So is there something more to their closeness? Perhaps some sort of insecurity, or is Elliot just a family man? To understand this, let's take a look at his childhood. His father, who had Irish origins, was a bank manager and his mother worked at a finance company. Sadly, Elliot had to witness his parents' messy split up while he was still very young. Thereafter, young Elliot was raised by his parental grandmother and life was not easy. Like most newcomers to the film industry, Elliot had to struggle his way to stardom. The talented actor would often work in a restaurant to fend for himself. Soon enough, thanks to his hard work, he was able to earn through his acting career. Well, we can't fail tradition entirely. <laughs> Did you know Elliot also loves tennis? The father of two who currently resides with his family in Toronto, Canada, loves to travel in his leisure time. Sadly, Elliot made a heartbreaking announcement about his wife. At the Christmas con in Pasadena, California, Elliot told people that his wife was suffering from cancer and has had over 16 chemos in the last two years. He said, she's a warrior. Moving on to an actor who suffered a very crippling disorder that left him wearing leg braces all day and night for four long years. We're talking about Cameron Matheson. Cameron Matheson is known for being authentic with his social media followers. In one such heart-to-heart -heart conversation, the Hallmark star opened up again on the occasion of Rare Disease Day. He made a heart-wrenching revelation to his followers that as a child, he had a severe disease that impaired him for years. In an Instagram post, Matheson revealed that he had leg calf Perth's disease, which required him to wear leg braces 24-7 for four long, grueling years. Along with his post, he shared photos of himself as a child wearing restrictive leg braces. He wrote, in honor of Rare Disease Day, I'm posting about the rare degenerative bone disease I had as a child, leg calf Perth's disease. I was diagnosed at two years old and wore this leg brace night and day for four years to allow my femur bones to harden and support my body. When someone asked if he had to do physical therapy after the braces came off, Matheson replied, for years, yes. He added that the treatment standard has changed quite a bit since he was a child, but science still has a long way to go. But wait, another disastrous diagnosis struck the actor in 2019. In one of the interviews, Matheson spoke about his struggles with cancer. It's funny, I, I've, I've told the story so many times, but the tough part is kind of going back there mentally and, and remembering what that felt like. The actor has since undergone surgery and treatment for his cancer and has overcome the disease as a bold survivor. And so I'm a cancer survivor, I gotta own it. It's, yeah. not, it's like, I, I definitely have to own it and be proud of it. While Matheson had a life-threatening sickness, the next star struggled with an emotional breakdown that left her torn for over half a decade. We're talking about the Spy Kids star, Alexa Penavega. Penavega opened up about her struggle with bulimia after her elimination from Dancing with the Stars. At the time, she may have left the ballroom, but she left a lasting impression. So here's what happened. It was binging and purging and it got so bad guys i mean i wasn't hanging out with people the spy kid star was sent home on her best night of the competition earning two perfect scores but it was her first performance an emotional dance set to make it rain which represented a battle she's kept secret from the public for a long time a six-year struggle with an eating disorder yes pena vega had a severe eating disorder she opened up about it further and said an all day thing where I would cook, I would eat, and I would purge. I would cook, I would eat, and I would purge. And it's disgusting to look back. 
During the package before her performance, Alexa told her partner, Mark Ballas, a story about working on a film when she was younger, where the producers kept telling her, you're too fat. The producers kept telling me like, you are just like, you're too fat. That experience led the young girl to develop an eating disorder that lasted the next six years. For the next six years of my life, I had an eating disorder. It was an honest and emotional moment, one that truly highlighted what makes Dancing with the Stars so special and why Pena Vega wanted to do the show. I struggled with bulimia for so long. And even though I got through it, I feel like a lot of my insecurities still with my body are from that. Mark, the choreographer of the routine in which represented Pena Vega's eating disorder by attempting to pull her back, said the experience was incredible. I think with issues like that, people usually don't like to address them. With issues like that, you have to be bold, you have to have courage, and you have to put it out there. As long as we can help one person, that's all that matters. Tonight's dance was bigger than the show. It was about a bigger message to help people and to inspire. And we cannot agree more. Up next is our very own good witch, Catherine Bell. But as fate has it, everything was not always so good with Bell in the beginning. The British-born Iranian-American actress and producer who shot to fame for her role as Lieutenant Sarah McKenzie in the television series Jag between 1997 to 2005 had a pretty rough childhood. Maybe then you'd find your manhood, Sadiq. You wouldn't be afraid of this body. You could use me and throw me away. Broken families affect children the most, and when you're a toddler and the magnitude of its full effects, it is much bigger. Belle's parents divorced when she was just two years old. She was raised by her Iranian mother and grandparents, with the family eventually moving to California's San Fernando Valley. Belle was exposed to diverse influences growing up. In her teenage years, Belle came under the influence of her California surroundings. She explained, I am definitely a valley girl. I was a tomboy. I liked to skateboard, play football, and push the envelope a little bit. Belle enrolled at UCLA, where she considered a career in medicine or research. However, when she was offered a modeling job in Japan, where advertisers value American beauty, and so she dropped out during her sophomore year. Talking about her struggling days, she said, I, I did different jobs to support myself as I, as I went along. What kind of stuff? Well, I wasn't, I wasn't a very good waitress. I spilled tea on, on a big director. Did you know that Belle also was a massage therapist? So you can say she does have some tricks to relieve pain and stress. Apart from this, she is also fond of motorcycling, skiing, snowboarding, and kickboxing. Well, the last entry for today may come as a surprise for many, considering how popular she is. Our very own Candace Cameron Bure had a serious issue that plagued her in the formative years of her career. Bure struggled with bulimia about 20 years ago. In an interview, she said, Again, it's like being on a runaway train here going, I want to get off, I don't know how to get off. But you don't know how to get off. Bure, now 40, says her destructive relationship with food caught her completely off guard. It was a whole different part of my life and I didn't know how to find my identity within that and I had turned to food for comfort and I did become bulimic. She regained her control through recovery and has since become a recovery ambassador for the Eating Recovery Center in an international center that provides comprehensive eating disorder treatment for adults, adolescents, and children. Who knew, right? Stardom does not have its own perks, and sometimes it has many problems too. Well, that's it for today, guys. Do you know of any other actors who had a rough childhood growing up? Let us know in the comments down below. And if you liked today's video, don't forget to share some love by our channel by giving it a like, share, and do subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching. Until next time.